Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate the uh, synchronous motor speed control using VBF control. This method is otherwise called variable voltage, variable frequency control. The same model is available for download from the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. Let us get into the simulation part. So this is the model that we are going to simulate. Uh, as you know, uh, in synchronous reluctance motor, you won't be finding any permanent magnets or uh, coils in the rotor side. Uh, instead, you will be finding uh, iron in the rotor side. So this, uh, I mean, the rotation of the rotor of synchronous reluctance motor is based purely based on the, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the, uh, the reluctance. So. Uh, at the stator side, we will be finding three phase coils similar to uh, the coils that you find in induction motor or in permanent magnet synchronous machines. Uh, so, the construction wise, uh, the difference lies in the rotor side. So, in a synchronous reluctance motor, uh, we will be finding iron at the router side and three phase winding at the stator side so here we are going to control the motor uh, by using variable voltage and variable frequency control method uh, so to affect that we are giving reference uh, speed initially see here 1500 rpm is the reference speed with the reference speed we are comparing the output speed of the uh, machine Okay. Right, and the error uh, that we calculate by comparing reference speed with the actual speed will be given as input to the PA controller, and the output of PA controller and the actual speed will be added up. Uh, the output of this add block will be the input of these two uh, gain blocks. So, this gain block is to provide the magnitude of the voltage and uh, this gain block will provide uh, the frequency so what we are doing here is we are just converting the uh, speed input to uh, corresponding magnitude of voltage as well as the frequency so this block will convert uh, the input voltage magnitude and to frequency to three three phase signals okay so this is a three phase sign generator so it will produce three three phase sine waves uh, that will be given as input to this pwm generator so this is a two level pwm generator we are using this pwm generator just to produce the pulses okay it will produce uh, sine pwm pulses based on the input that it gets from the previous block so as i told you earlier uh, this block will be giving three three phase sine waves okay so three three phase sine waves will be generated by this block uh, if you want to give uh, sample time you can give it or else you can leave it to the default value so the output of uh, this pwm generator would be the pulses all together there will be six uh, uh, pwm pulses uh, so that will be given as input to the uh, gate uh, that we have in the converter okay so uh, here what we are doing is we are uh, uh, just demuxing the signals that is coming from the pwm generator uh, and it will be uh, converted to the physical signal so that uh, the physical model uh, will understand what is coming from the simulator Okay, so this is uh, PS2 symbolic converter. Okay, and uh, this is the max block in Simscape. Uh, we are using the model from uh, Simscape uh, because uh, synchronous reluctance motor is not available uh, in the normalized model. Uh, as you can see, if you see the reluctance 
motors we will be finding only this uh, uh, synchronous reluctance motor here even if you type and search it Uh, we cannot find a uh, synchronous reluctance motor uh, like this. Okay, see uh, if you have a model like this, we can directly interface it with a uh, uh, simulating signals. Uh, but here we are, <coughs> sorry, we are we are getting only the uh, physical model. So uh, we need to design everything based on the uh, physical model. Okay. So here we have the converter. This is basically a, a three-phase inverter circuit. So input to this uh, three-phase inverter circuit is the uh, signal coming from the uh, battery source. Okay, this is the DC supply, not the battery. DC supply. Uh, so this is uh, this is the uh, three-phase inverter model that we have. So here we can. Uh, change the type of switch that we can use we have gto uh, ideal semiconductor switch igbt is there mosfet is there thyristor is there and we have <coughs> averaged uh, switch model as well so whichever you want you can choose and uh, here we have the current measurement as well as the voltage measurement uh, sensors uh, in uh, normal sibling blocks to measure the current we have a separate block called current measurement but in simscape model we will be using this current sensor and voltage sensor to measure the uh, currents okay so again we are using uh, uh, ps2 s converter ps is uh, physical model and s is sibling okay so physical from the physical model the data will be converted to sibling model okay similarly to measure the voltage we need to give the reference only if you give the reference uh, the voltage will be measured uh, so that's a peculiar thing about uh, the thinscape uh, wherever you want to measure something we need to give the uh, reference okay so here we are measuring the dc supply and uh, to measure that we need to give the uh, electrical reference right so uh, this is the synchronous reluctance motor we have uh, here we have the uh, mechanical reference port so that the ma machine can operate by taking this as the reference so, so this is similar to the uh, fixtures mechanical fixtures that we have when a physical model of uh, motors see if you want to fix the machine we will be fixing it on the bed so this is uh, similar to that and here we have the ideal torque sensor uh, this is the rotary output of the motor so we'll be taking output from the uh, from this port of the motor so what we are doing here is we are just using an ideal torque sensor that will sense the torque produced by the uh, synchronous reluctance motor okay so uh, we are connecting the connecting one end of this torque sensor to the motor and other end uh, to this ideal torque source okay so this torque source is uh, similar to the load that we connect to the uh, motor so to this um, ideal torque source we need to give two things one is the reference and the second one is the uh, load that we give okay so this is similar to the load torque that we give uh, to uh, motor models uh, if you want to simulate induction motor or dc motor or pms motor will be giving uh, torque load as input so this is similar to that so uh, uh, we are giving uh, torque load as input so i am giving 0.5 here uh, again with a uh, simulink to ps converter we are converting uh, the signal to uh, physical signal okay so uh, now uh, 0.5 newton meter becomes the torque to this motor 
uh, even if you connect uh, even we can connect it directly to the motor but if you want to sense the torque produced by the motor we need to connect a torque sensor okay so this is similar to the current sensor and voltage sensor we have uh, in the in this block to measure current and voltage so if you want to measure the torque we need to connect a torque sensor here and this uh, this is the uh, sensor which is used to measure the speed okay so if you want to measure the speed we need to have a, a mechanical reference okay so uh, this is the uh, mechanical reference and w is the speed and a is the angle if you want to uh, sense the position of the rotor i mean uh, if you want to sense the angle of the rotor uh, we can connect uh, scopes to this uh, a port the output of this a port will be in terms of uh, uh, radians per second uh, speed will be in radians per second and the angle will be uh, in terms of uh, radians okay so let us uh, is before uh, starting the simulation for all the simscape models we need to give uh, this solver okay a normal uh, electrical machine model and if you are using igbts uh, or uh, some other powertronic devices we will be using power gui uh, in normal uh, assembling models but here uh, if you want well, if you uh, simulate simscape models we need to uh, connect uh, this solver only if you connect this solver to any of the uh, simscape models uh, the model will run otherwise uh, we cannot simulate it okay. let us start the simulation okay, it is compiling now So let us uh, open the speed. Okay. Yes, the speed is racing from zero. Since we have given 1500 as the reference speed, it will uh, raise up and settle at uh, 1500 RPM. Yes, as you can see it is uh, setting exactly at uh, 1500 rpm so if you want to change the speed uh, you can change the values uh, reference speed value so that you can get the uh, uh, get the different speeds okay so let us see the torque so since we have given 0.5 as torque the more uh, torque produced by the motor will also be 0.5 newton meter So thanks for uh, uh, watching this video. Uh, please subscribe our channel and uh, share it uh, uh, to your friends. Uh, please press the bell button so that whenever we publish a video, uh, that will reach you. So thanks for watching. Uh, the same model is available for download uh, in the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it for your purpose. Thanks again.